If you don't mind, I'm just gonna quick uh, sip before we start. It's uh, good to see you back on your screens, you guys. Welcome back to the channel, it's Steve's Mac Fix. And today what we're gonna be using, or doing actually, is using an M.2 NVMe drive put into an enclosure, right? This is one of an Acasis external enclosure. And we're gonna make it work with your Mac. So why would you do this? There's several reasons. Let's say you have some NVMe drives laying around, you're a PC user, and you have all these external hard drive or NVMe drives on your, uh, your motherboard, and now you're not using that anymore because it's trashed, and you're converting to the dark side and going Mac. I'm just kidding. Um, but let's say you have some laying around. Great, you, have, you could, might as well make use out of it. Some people want just a fast external hard drive. Right, and I'm gonna. The reason why that kind of goes hand in hand with why I'm doing this. In my case, I like to have my operating system and all the applications internally in the Mac. However, I want my libraries for Final Cut Pro, Photos, iTunes, and the countless amount of untitled folders or junk folders I got and put those on an external drive. That way it's kind of freeing up some space on my Mac. I'm sure you guys got some of those too, I bet. Anyhow, I kind of want to put that stuff external. Again, applications internally along with the operating system, that is it. So that this bad boy here runs smooth, right? Again, you don't have to use these. This is a Western Digital Black SN750 SE NVMe SSD game drive, gaming with disc, whatever it is. Gen 4, and honestly, you know, there's tons of videos that show you how to, which one to pick. You choose. And this is an Acasis one, uh, Acasis, however you want to say it. Um, this one's pretty expensive. You don't have to get this one. It shoot, you know, buy one that's to your um, budget and your needs. Um, but it's definitely possible. You have your reason why you're doing it. That's why you're here. Let me unbox this bad boy, or these bad boys. Don't, don't cut yourself unboxing things. Time to bring out the butter knife. Works well for unboxings. This is the WD Black SN750 SE NVMe SSD. They're mainly used for gaming drives. Just a quick disclosure, I'm not endorsed by either of these products. I purchased this with my own money. Kind of based it on performance and price. These things are super thin. Take a look at that. Left side, you can see the key. You can see the uh, NAND flash on the right there. Super thin, low profile. And this bad boy is going to go into this Acasis uh, enclosure, SSD enclosure. This thing is made out of uh, solid aluminum alloy. Um, it's supposed to help or pretty be pretty good with uh, heat dissipation because these things get hot. All right, let's see what's inside this thing here. Uh, looks like we have a USB-C to USB-C from the enclosure to the MacBook or your Mac. Next, we have a screwdriver. And along with that, we got some screws to kind of close up the enclosure. Also, the manual that I should probably read, but I probably won't. And of course, the enclosure itself. It feels really good in the hand. Again, it is. It has a cold feel because it is a uh, aluminum, but really rock solid. Inside, you can see um, where the key goes in from the SSD. Very uh, solid well built almost uh, reminds me of the MacBook uh, feel and we, here we have a thermal pad which is very important 
So let's put this thermal pad on the hard drive here. That pad's supposed to touch the, uh, the casing there. So let's put this, um, if you notice there's a key right there, well that's where the key would go in into the enclosure. Just push that in really good. Make sure it's nice and uh, snug. And once that's in, should be good to go and we could screw it. Just remember every enclosure is a little bit different. Yours might be different than mine. And I just kind of uh, use this little screw to kind of hold it down. As you can see there. And then I got four screws to just go around the entire thing to make sure this doesn't pop open. Voila, it's done. See how easy that is? You guys could do this too, man. So now that we created our external hard drive, let's just go ahead now, plug it into the Mac. Um, take the interface, uh, take the USB-C into the USB-C port into your Mac, plug that bad boy in. So when you get this error, press initialize. Now, if that doesn't work, um, you're going to do a different route. However, if you do press initialize and it does work, it should open up disk utility automatically. And if it doesn't, you're going to manually um, open up disk utility. Go to Spotlight and you're going to type in disk utility there. Press enter. And now disk utility should start. On the left hand side here, you should notice your drive that you just plugged into your Mac. Um, it might have a different name than what mine is. That's just the name brand I have. Go ahead and select that there. And then from here, you want to erase it. And the reason why you want to erase it is because we want to make it compatible with your Mac. We want to format the drive to work with it, right? So here, it asks for the name. You could call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call this um, an NVMe drive, right? Let's put underscore drive. And then from here, the format, what you want to do is put it as Mac journaled. OS extended journaled. Um, the reason why you want to do that is because you want to make sure it's compatible with your Mac and other Macs too. In regards to this part, just, you know, you could put like master boot record, but that's another tutorial. In this case, we're going to leave this as a partition map. Um, that is the default partition map. And that way you just plug and play. If you do um, the other formats, of, not formats, but if you do the master boot record, that actually you could load a operating system that way um, and that way it will boot correctly and Apple partition map. But we're not going to get into all that. In this tutorial, we're just using, using the, um, the default here and we're going to press erase. <laughs> So here it says erasing and creating. It says now that it is complete, click done to continue. So if we do that here, if you notice I have one terabyte, it's actually a little bit less, but I have one terabyte of external storage there. So let's do this. Um, we're gonna leave this out here and you'll notice it on your desktop now. I have a junk folder here that's pretty huge in file size, I'm guessing. This is 30 gigabytes. That's a whole lot of junk that's on my computer. And it has everything in it, to be honest with you, from like torrents to pictures to whatever. And I'm not gonna get into that, but um, I'm just gonna throw that into here and let's see how big or how fast it covers 30 gigabytes. Now, that is pretty damn fast. I'm not even going to clip that. So that's 30 gigabytes written onto that drive. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm sure you would be too, right? Anyhow. All right, so this is how you make a really fast external hard drive for your Mac using an NVMe drive with an enclosure. And that way you can store photos, 
music videos of you in red panties or in a 360 video or something. Who knows? Anyway, um, I'm not going to get into there. But do me a favor before that kind of leads up to what I wanted to say really quick before I sign off and say rate, comment, subscribe. Enjoy life. Do me a favor. Enjoy life. Life short. Take a moment uh, to get away from work and get away from the screen and you know what? Just tell the people around you that you love them. Anyway, um, I just want to say I also appreciate you. Um, you could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're here with me. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Subscribe. Oh God, I'm popping a pimple. Ouch. This is an NVMe drive with an enclosure to make it work with your Mac. I said to make it work with your Mac. Yeah, that's how you make it work. Hard drives you guys use. What, uh, da ba da 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 ba da? <laughs> God.